Hello everyone and welcome to the review. My name is Janae and tonight we've got an unbagging to do from AliExpress. This is coming from YIWU DIY Diamond Painting Store and this is actually the right package that came from that store. So if you watched my video previously, you'll understand. So stay tuned. On this channel, we do full post reviews, tips and tricks, recommendations, and unbaggings, just like this one. So let's jump into that video. Hello everyone, and again, welcome. And yes, this time, this is from YIWU DIY Diamond Painting Store. I, if you saw my last video, I, thought that the package that I had came from that store and it actually was not from that store. So this one is, <laughs> I promise. Um, this is called Firework Wall. It is a 30 by 40 full square drill. I ordered this August 26th. I received it today, September 16th. Took approximately three weeks to get here and it paid $14.41. So let's take a look and see what we have. I thought this was a full round drill. So to my surprise, it is not, unless it just says full square and it is actually around. I'm hoping it's around because I need a break from the squares. I mean, I need a break. They have been a thorn in my behind for a while and no, these are square. Darn it. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, let's take a look at the toolkit first. This over here. So, for those that are new to diamond painting, welcome to the diamond painting community. What you basically need in your diamond painting kits, or what you should have, is a tray, a diamond painting pin, a plate of wax, and a pair of tweezers. So this is basically your basic toolkit that you would receive in a diamond painting kit. Now some kits will, our toolkit, sorry, will have three placers or a six placer, nine placer, and some will come with Ziploc bags. It just depends on the store. Now, this store only gave me five, wait a minute, one, two, three, yeah, five Ziploc bags, and I don't believe this is going to be enough. So if you're new to diamond painting, and you purchase a diamond painting kit and you only get a handful of Ziploc bags, go to your nearest dollar store and you can pick up Ziploc bags that are this size and better quality for less than a dollar fifty. So just, just kind of a little bit of a tip there. The tweezers are angled. These aren't too bad. They're um, a little bit better than some of the tweezers that I've been getting lately. I'm just going to put that on there. And this tray has a cutout. So I like these trays. They're, I really like these trays, actually. Oops. Almost did a flip with my wax there. All right. So let's take a look at this canvas. Canvas is around a foam core. It does have bands around it. Oops. Put that over there. Toss that there. Okay, let's take a look at the back of the canvas first. 
Now again, if you're new to diamond painting, I always like to look at the back of the canvas first because it will tell me if there's any issues with the canvas. And this canvas is bound to determine it is not going to try to straighten itself out, which is okay because I'll show you a way of straightening this out shortly. Now, one of the things that you're going to be looking for in the back of the canvas is you're going to look and see if there's any puckering or any indications of rivers. And believe me, if you had those, you would see them on the back of this canvas. Now, what I'm looking at right now, I see absolutely nothing wrong in the back, which is a good indication that the front is going to be okay. But we, we shall see that. Okay, now one thing about straightening out a canvas. You can do a couple of things. You can flatten this out like this and stack a bunch of books on it and give it about 24 to 48 hours and then take the books off. You may not have it snap back at you, but that's one way of doing it. Another way you can do it is just pull the protective sheet back halfway, so in the halfway mark, and then put it back down. So we're just going to do this quickly. Oops. I'm just going to, oh boy. All right. That's not good to see. Pull this back up. Sorry about that. It just kind of snapped on me and yeah. All right. So we're just going to pull that back. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to take that and lay it back down. Now you're going to see that that's laying nice and flat there. So you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. And then that way you can actually Examine your drill field and see if there's any issues with it at all. One thing you want to be very careful is when you pull up these corners, you want to make sure you're not pulling the adhesive up at the same time. So be very careful when you pull your protective sheet up. This painting does not want to straighten out. Let's, let's see if I can do it this way. There. All right. It's not as straight as I would like to see it, but it's better than what it was. It's not going to snap up on me anymore. Now, this thumbnail, I'm going to bring up the thumbnail. I'm I'm going to say right now, I'm, I'm not impressed, but I will explain that in just a few minutes. So let's see if we can bring up this thumbnail and show you what this painting is going to look like. Oops, sorry. There we go. So that's what it's going to look like if my camera would, there we go. Sorry, my camera is going to focus in and out on it, but kind of get an idea. So, one of the things I'm not impressed with is the fact that the thumbnail is really small. It is hard to see and the legend is very hard to see. But the nice thing is it does come with an inventory sheet. So, that is a good thing. The other thing I'm not really happy with, and I noticed it right off, when I'm looking at this, here's the image. I'm going to have to do some minor canvas repair. There's rivers right through here. They're very minor. I didn't see them on the back, but I do see them here. There's a little bit through here. Let's 
still not going to straighten out that corner. Um, now that could be just uh, the way it was packaged. Um, they did have rubber bands on this and I'm not a really big fan of that, but it is what it is. And then when you look at this side, oops, again, lots of little rivers through here. So those have to be repaired before you start putting the drills down or you're going to have some major issues um, as you're putting your drills down. I also noticed that the double-sided adhesive right here in this corner is yellow. I'm not impressed with that at all. That worries me. Uh, hopefully that isn't going to be an issue. I've never seen that before, but it is definitely yellow. It's very tacky, so that's a good thing. It's a fairly big size river there. But here, let me show you what I'm looking at. I mean, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. And this way you'll get a good look at the drill field as well. But if you look at, oops, see if the camera will pick it up. See that tape? It's yellow. I don't know if the camera is actually picking that up or not, but you can see the line. You can see where um, it's just, it's yellow. But I don't know if my camera's actually, no, it's not going to pick it up. Well, maybe, yeah, right in here you can kind of see it, right over here. But, uh, yeah, not impressed with that. Not sure what that was all about, but. Okay, so let me bring up so you can see the drill field. It's nice and clear. Sorry for the glare. Let's see if I go like that. So it's very clear. So that I do like. So we shall see if this is going to oops, work out. It still does not want to straighten out. But normally, once you do this, it straightens itself out. But for some reason, this is not going to straighten out. It's a stubborn canvas. All right, so there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually measure the drill field. I want to see if the um, I want to see if the description on AliExpress's site is true to what it says it is. So this says it's a thirty by forty. Let me get my. This, oops, is this actually a 30 by 40? So the drill field actually starts there and I think it starts there. Yeah. Okay, so that is just under 40. to find there it is yes okay so it's technically a 39 and three quarters by 30 so it's close enough that's okay I'm not displeased with that at all so let's take a look at the drills Sorry for the noise.
Boy, that bag didn't hold up very well. <laughs> All right, so again, let me show you what the thumbnail is going to look like. This, it, there we go. It's beautiful. I love the picture. And this has, let me see if I can get the paper. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 colors. Wow. Okay, so I'm assuming that the majority of them are 310. And. So I've got 4,304 310s and 2,621 939s. So I'm going to go ahead and do my drill inventory. I'm going to speed up the camera so you don't have to, you know, sit around and watch and put some music on, sit back, relax. We'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I um, just did my inventory twice, <laughs> and I am missing drills. So I will be contacting the store. I am not impressed. I am supposed to have four bags of 38, 37, and they gave me one bag. So I'm not happy with that. All right. I will keep you in the loop on that particular issue. So other than that, other than the little rivers in the canvas and the missing drills, the picture should turn out really beautiful. Again, this came from AliExpress. 
the YIWU DIY Diamond Painting Store. Um, this is a 30 by 40 full square drill. Cost $14.41. Took three weeks to get to me, and as I said, I will keep you informed about the missing drills. So by saying that, if you like the video, give it that thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you didn't like the video, I'm okay with that. But if you can go down to the comments below and let me know what you didn't like about the video, I would greatly appreciate that. That way it helps me improve my videos in the future. Also, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see and you like what you hear, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join the family. Also, don't forget to hit the bell. The bell will indicate when I've uploaded my next video. So again, if this is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If this is afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if this is evening for you, have a very restful evening. Again, my name's Janae. Thank you for joining me today on The Review. We'll talk again real soon.